I've always been an essential worker. I've always been an essential worker. We are fighting for the right to a decent life for all working families. We can't afford another four years of this. We need a change. Every single frontline worker should have the personal protective equipment that they need to be safe. Lack of planning and willful neglect has left most of the healthcare workers at a risk of contracting the virus. If Donald Trump prevails in court, insurers would be allowed once again to strip away coverage, jack up premiums, simply because of the battle they survived fighting coronavirus. No matter what my gender is, what my job is, what my race is, everyone deserves a good quality of life. Everyone in this room should have a minimum starting at $15 an hour wage across the board. Only one way you can fight back power is with more power, and that's union power. We should unionize McDonald's. Unions have to be on the forefront of bringing people together and changing our country. Unions are social justice organizations. We can't leave this moment thinking that we can once again turn away and do nothing. The moment has come for our nation to deal with systemic racism. On day one, I'm going to send a legislative immigration reform bill to Congress to provide a roadmap to citizenship for 11 million undocumented immigrants Working people and our families need to be engaged in the civic engagement process. Something is going to happen. There's going to be a change, a really good change. This is going to be Joe Biden. He is for equality, fair housing, affordable health care. He is for the people. To me, it's a clear choice to vote for Biden. He's going to be the president. I support Joe Biden. I'm going to use that same energy to get Joe Biden. And for president, you gotta win.